Hi, it is Monday and it's 3 p.m. and off I go again talking about lingerie and bra fitting and beautiful little things made of lace and satin and silk and just amazing, amazing world out, out there in the lingerie world. So again, let me introduce myself going back. I am Dosha and this is my weekly Monday chat of three talking about lingerie, bra fitting and anything else that any woman need. So here we go today. As from my last video I have my little uh, ritual which I was talking about, my, my little quote of wisdom which I do every time before I go live just to give myself a little bit of boost and positivity and I also like to share them with you. So today I found another book. It's a little book. I always like small little books and this one is a Everyday Positive Thinking. We all need everyday positive thinking and again I'm opening my book on a random page and what it says? It says it's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. Okay, we're only gonna think from now on about things that we desire and not what we fear because fear is very destructive and we want to be positive and constructive. Hello, Linda, thank you for watching. It's really nice to see you and I really appreciate and hello, Eva and I'm going to see who else is there. I'm not so good with all the gadgets as of now, so I'm trying to do my best. So be patient with me if, if it's not up to your standards, but I promise I'll get better soon. Um, what I've been talking about previously, I talked a little bit about all of us women being different shape, shapes and sizes, that we have different needs, that we need to search for a good bra and that there is a good variety of bras out there that we can find. Um, I also talked about bra fitting and I always recommend to go for a professional bra fitting. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about myself being interior designer for over 20 years and now switching over to something more feminine and something on a different scale smaller scale but much closer to my heart at the moment. Today it's snowing in London. Um, we were hoping for spring but it's quite white and the flights are not going out or in from Heathrow so we stuck a bit here. Uh, and I decided let's talk about something more fresh and spring-like because at some point it has to come. And I want to talk about bralettes. What is a bralette? I looked again, searching for a description, uh, and it says that bralette is a soft kind of bra without wires and no padding. It's a very soft, very basic bra. They have been quite popular um, for a year or two, and we get them more and more in almost every brand now it's standing to carry at least you know a couple of different types of bralettes. I want to show you two that I have here with me. One is a very basic one. It's just pretty much white lace. Like I said, it doesn't have any wires. It's very soft. This one doesn't have any closure at the back. So when you put this one on, it's you just kind of pull it like a little crop top or, or a t-shirt, you just kind of pull it over yourself. I have another one, different color and different construction. This one, very beautiful, two color lace. I have showed this one for my um, St. Patrick uh, wishes for everyone who is celebrating St. Patrick, it's green, but it's more of an olive green with the lighter, brighter um, lime green details. And this one is different 
constructed we have the side bone in here and there is a back clasp so it's easier different way of, of wearing this one the bralettes they can be made of many different things um, they could be very lacy like the one I was showing right now and usually it's a stretched lace to, to look nicely on on your body hello Jane thank you for coming I really appreciate thank you um, they could be made out of cotton um, which usually gonna be um, a cotton blend with elastin or some different microfibers or model depending uh, they could be made of um, that, that's pretty in combination so it could be a little bit of this and with a little bit of that so we can have a microfiber with lace or cotton with lace so, so basically that's that's what it is uh, why why have they become kind of very popular I think bralette it's something less uh, demanding it's something a uh, piece of lovely garment that you can wear uh, when you just not so structured so that means you're not working you could be on holidays you could be lounging at home you can have a lovely weekend you know just in your garden and going around the city shopping it's something just very casual uh, but at the same very pretty and the good news is that they come in variety of sizes originally I think they were meant for ladies with the smaller size cup but we really like them and I think most of the manufacturers they realize they're quite popular and they decided to change construction and create a new kind of bralette that women as myself and many of you out there with a little bit bigger cup size can also wear them and today the two bralettes that I'm showing, one is uh, designed for the smaller size cup and the other one is the one for the bigger cup size. Magdalena, thank you for coming. Thank you. I love you. Thank you for being here. It means so much for all the people's support I get. And honestly, I have to tell you, every time when I come here, I'm not so worried but I'm a little bit afraid there will be n no one there and every time when I see you uh, it, it's a great surprise and yeah it's just oh, I love it so it, it's like a big party and I, I feel great uh, all of a sudden so w let's talk about those bralettes the one the lovely green one like I said, what I like about this one, I love the design, I love the color, it, the lace is so pretty, you know, with the two different shades of green, really contrasting. It has a little bit of a vintage feel to it, which again, I really like. Um, but unfortunately, this is not something for me. I cannot wear this. These are all my hearts going out to you. Why not? Uh, Let's just see how how the cup is constructed. Basically, it's a one. Sorry, it's quite difficult to show you. Okay, so it, it's a triangle of a lovely lace, and it's just sewn in the middle. So it, it's not much of of a shape by itself, but it has the same bralette has wonderful another little invention here, which I really like, which is a side boning. And what this little part of more the boning just make it more, you know, it, it's it's not as um, tough as your wires. It's a plastic boning, so it's not very, it's still very light construction, but it keeps the shape. You see, the bralette. No, mind you, I'm just starting. <laughs> just starting. Um, you see, it's a longer front under your bust. And when you have the side boning, this doesn't roll up, which, which gives you a really nice look. And another thing, which kind of might um, be a plus for many of us, you can actually adjust the back because it, it closes exactly the same way 
as any other bra. So basically one, two, three, and we can go in and we can adjust that bend. So this is very good. The other one, the simple one, this one is made for ladies with the larger cup size. So when you c if you can see this, see instead of just one panel, we have one, two, three, four little lace panels connected together to give us much more of a fuller cup shape, right? But the difference is, for a change, there is no side boning and there is no closure at the back. So uh, the same idea, but we look at two different constructions for two different body shapes. Both of them, they have adjustable straps, the same as a regular bra. I really like them for summer days when you put, I don't know, a um, piece of linen shirt or a dress, uh, you sit in your garden, you go to the beach or, or for a late coffee. And, and these are nice, light, and pretty. And it's very good that now many women with different body shapes can wear them. Uh, these are just two examples. If you look through different brands, you will see many more. I have found even some brands make them with wires, which is um, the opposite what bralette should be because bralette shouldn't have any wires. But again, when we look at the um, just terminology, it, it, it's quite confusing in lingerie um, world. And I was looking actually online, I was trying to see the terminology, what we have um, out there because we were talking about three different shapes of bras and many companies don't even tell you the shape of bras and I was talking about plunge and I was talking about hello Daniel, hello <laughs> thank you for coming um, we're talking about bras and bra fitting so welcome uh, here so I was talking about three different shapes of bras and many of the companies they don't even tell you those shapes so th they prefer to give the the brass sexy names as uh, I don't know Juliet or um, I don't know Ivana I, I, different names but they, they don't really tell you what shape it is but after what we have talked about last week I think it's very easy to to recognize those three shapes so every time when we see more of a V opening up front, this is definitely a plunge with a deep V opening up front. Straighter line, it's always a balcony or balconet. And any bra that is more built up with fuller coverage is gonna be our full cup. And then again, like we said last week, we're gonna go from there. Uh, I also wanna show you different fabrics that we can have um, get our bras made of. They could be silk, they could be 100% silk or a little bit silk with elastin to give a li little bit of stretch and elasticity. Um, the lace again could be the regular lace or stretch lace which I really prefer because it gives you much nicer and natural shape um, especially for the larger cup sizes. There could be satin for more of the evening kind of elegant look. And combination, again, microfiber, cotton blends, anything you want, we can, we can have there. Um, I wanted to go back to bra fitting, bra fitting techniques and bra fitting options. Um, I have people asking me, um, hello Pepito, <laughs> how are you? Um, I have people asking me, okay, um, it, it's easy to say, go for bra fitting, find a bra fitter, you know, everybody is so professional. My experience wasn't like that. Uh, I'm not comfortable going for bra fitting. Uh, I want to figure out what is my bra size by myself. Okay. Of course you can do this. You can look online and what I'm going to do today, later on, after I finish talking, I'm going to uh, post links 
to different a uh, couple of different websites that give you their ideal uh, way of measuring for uh, for your bra. Uh, there is a bra fitting calculator. There is uh, different advice. Um, the funny thing is, um, they varied one from another. The advice you will get, it's not always the same. The good news is, at the end of the day, we always want to be um, in in this fit we talked last time. So the five points, we want to make sure that the band gives us support, that the cup is big enough, that all our breast tissue is inside the cup. We want to make sure there is no uh, double busting. We want to make sure that the wires in the middle sit on our sternum. Um, so all of these are the same. So when you go from one side to another, on this part they agree. So, so all of the websites and online uh, suggestions, they do agree how uh, the proper size bra should fit you, but how to get there they will give you different opinion. Every time you need to use one of these things, which is a um, tape measure, um, most of the sites I looked at are either uh, based in UK on U or US and we will stay with um, imperial scale which is inches instead of centimeters. But you can calculate this way and that way. Maybe I find one with the European sizes then you can do this with centimeters if it's easier. But even when you get the tape measure usually they come with both one on each side. So interesting thing, what I found, like uh, I found one side that suggests you have to measure yourself under your bust so tight that you almost feel that uh, your tape gonna break. This is the first time I ever heard that one, but definitely I will link this um, this side for you just just to see uh, how it's gonna what size you're gonna come up with. And then just for fun, I suggest try different advices and see what sizes you will come up. Uh, there is a slight problem. Uh, manufacturers are going with more and more sizes. It's not as fast as we would like to be. Uh, the cups are, when you do those calculations, sometimes you're gonna have really exotic cup sizes. Uh, G, H, and going up. Apparently G cup is the most typical and, and standard cup today. Before we were thinking B cup was the standard, which is not true anymore. G cup is the standard cup size and going up um, just just from there. So if you have a G cup size, it's it's nothing to, you know, think it, it, it's it's a big size, it's very standard size. I think the difference is how we measure ourselves and I think the big part of it is what is available out there. Um, and the good thing is there is more and more uh, garments and, and, and bras. I also noticed that um, certain websites that are so serious about the way how they measuring for the bra fit. From my point of view, I think we all need a good bra. I think the bra fitter is a major help. There's someone with experience and someone who can guide you. You don't have to take her advice, you know, 100%. It's, it's again, you can have your own opinion and at the end of the day, it is your decision if you like what she's suggesting or not. But for me, it's always easier you, if you have someone that you can work with you than doing all those measurements and calculations by yourself. If you have a good girlfriend, do it for fun. Maybe measure each other and see how, how it is. But still, if you can go for a bra fitting, that would be my choice. Um, another uh, little thing is um, don't be too serious about it. It's not, you know, it's not something that should defy your life 
have a life, live a little, have a good bra, that's it, forget about all the philosophies and different arguments, you know, this way is the only way and that way is the best way, because this, this is not what it's all about. Um, the important thing is find a good bra, find a beautiful bra, put it on and feel 100% gorgeous. This is the most important and that's what should stay with us. And every single one of us is beautiful and we can be gorgeous in this, um, in this bra. And Eva is asking, what if I can't find a bra fitter near me? That's a very good question. Uh, if you cannot find a bra fitter near you, okay, number one, listen to me, what I'm talking about. Maybe some of my advice and points will help. Um, try the sites that I'm gonna link later on today and just see what size um, you will come up uh, according to these suggestions. Um, have a friend, family friend or another friend maybe help you to, to figure it out. And again, maybe take a, take a little ride and find a bra fitter at the end of the day just to double check. Um, so that's, I'm, I'm sure you can find them around because bra fitting becomes quite popular lately and I found every country has uh, bra fitting services in almost any department stores or definitely in uh, lingerie boutiques. Um, bra fitting services are free of charge. It's good to make appointment. So if you have to go somewhere which is a little bit farther away, don't waste your time. Don't take a trip and find out that you cannot have uh, bra fitting because uh, you do not have appointment. So just, you know, search a little bit, make appointment. I can give you suggestions. Again, if you contact me, I will be more than happy to, to share um, places that I think uh, might, be, might be of interest and, and help. Uh, what else should we talk about ju just to get things going and not make it um, too long and too boring? Um, Another thing what I'm uh, kind of con concerned when we talked about online bra fitting, I realized uh, it's kind of um, designed for a specific kind of type of woman. She is usually between her 20s and let's say 50s and she's in good health and you know she, she doesn't have too many of issues that we might have in reality. I think there, there are many factors um, to consider, again, thinking about advice online and professional bra fitting. One of them is uh, age factor. When we age, our body change, our abilities change, our comfort level is different. When you go to a professional bra fitter, she will make sure to find something that is best for you and I, I can guarantee that um, there are health issues um, or even flexibility issues I r realize many ladies that they come to see me and I do bra fittings even you know closing bra at the back is difficult for them so um, these things are I think taking uh, into consideration by a human being who's uh, doing your bra fitting much better than just online services. Um, even our habits, you know, like, okay, if I can do my measurements and if all my life I was wearing a uh, band, let's say 36 or 38, and all of a sudden I do the calculation and it tells me that I have to wear 32 band, I don't think I'm gonna be comfortable with it right away. So it, it's not, you know, black and white kind of situation. Everything has to be uh, taken, um, you know, into, in, into gray area and be done custom for each one of the, of the women. Um, I have little notes because I start talking and then I forget uh, points that I thought might be interesting. 
Okay, one more reminder how we just put our bra on. Um, because again, uh, I realize, uh, especially when we're talking about a band that needs to give you support, and this is the, the, the most important part, uh, especially for ladies with the bigger cap size, try, if you can, try to just clasp at the back with your two hands at your back. I know it might be difficult for, for some of us, um, which are less flexible, but if you do uh, close it up front, like I know many women do, and then turn around and then put your bra on, every time when you do this you stretch the band a little bit more. Every time you stretch the band, the band will give you less and less support and will not last as long as we would like it to last. Normally, your bra should be in a good shape for about six months um, if you're wearing it pretty much all the time. Um, any l longer than that, um, I think the elasticity is, is, is kind of deteriorating too much. But again, depends if you don't wear your bra every day or every second day, maybe every once a week, then definitely, and you have a variety of different bras, then definitely they're going to last last much longer. Um, when, when we wear our bra, every time we have to remember to adjust ourselves when we were talking about, you know, reaching, bringing all the breast tissue into the cup from both sides. That's very important. Check the straps, make sure everything is the way it should be. And get your shoulders back and get the warrior pose, you know, because when you have a good bra, you can just stand straight, put your breast forward, and get all the power from the universe help you to, you know, move forward and be the most magnificent woman that you want to be. And this is what we're aiming for, for all of us. What should I close my lovely um, little talk today? Oh, Marek, hello. It's too bad you came so late. We almost finished, but I'm so happy to see you. I'm happy to see all my friends again. Um, it's amazing how Facebook is reaching out and bringing all those people that I haven't seen for ages uh, here to, to be with me for a few minutes over, over the internet live chat. Uh, which is great. I'm really happy and I'm really blessed. I'm, I'm just, it's amazing. Um, so I'm not going to talk much more uh, today about bra fitting. I think I made my points. I would love to get any questions from women out there to me, which I will be replying to. I'm working on another little um, topic uh, beside bra fitting and lingerie, which I'm going to continue, of course, and bring you news from uh, around the world and showing beautiful things. Um, I know, I realize that I was uh, fortunate to meet quite a few quite extraordinary women in my life. Um, and I think because we are here and we are here because we, we care somehow about each other, about the world, about you know good things and positive things. I would like these women um, to share their stories uh, with all of you and myself. So slowly, slowly, hopefully maybe once a week if, if, um, if they will agree, of course, I would like to bring one of them to chat with me about their story and my monthly um, chats again on Mondays will be called Tell Me Your Story and I'm hoping to bring quite a few very inspirational and amazing women here to join me and, and tell me and tell you their stories. So my half an hour is coming to an end today. Again, I'm very happy that you joined me. Thank you very much and see you again next week.